All right, welcome back. This is Daybreak. So, as I promised, we're about to have an exciting conversation. You're getting to meet some of, I think, Hollywood's next stars, and they're coming from right here in Kenya. All right, so before I even um, get into it, let me just give you an overview. So, this is an, an amazing film. If you haven't had a chance to watch it, I dare you to go watch it. It's called The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. It is a rare, authentic version of an African story. Of course, it's based on a book. You get to meet um, the faces behind it. So allow me to introduce one of the main actors here as well, Maxwell. Maxwell, it's so good to have you. I've seen okay. the trailer. You're one. You're one of the prime actors in it, right? Uh, I played the lead role of William Kamkwamba. There you go. And yeah. I saw you were speaking. What's the language in Malawi? Chichewa. Chiche Chichewa. Chichewa. And you spoke. He spoke it so well. Um, we also have your uncle in the. Your cousin in the film. My cousin. He was your cousin in the film, Robert. Mm. Robert Agengwe. Yeah. Nice to meet you as you well. Too. Thank you for being here. Yes, so, before we even get to show the trailer mm -hmm. in just a few minutes for our viewers, mm -hmm. tell me how was it being in that film? Well, it was a big task shooting the film uh, because it's based on real life events that happened in uh, 2001. So you have to place yourself in, uh, in that timing and be able to bring out uh, the role that you are assigned in the best way possible mm. to do the people that under, uh, underwent uh, that uh, journey um, to just to make them uh, appreciate what you're doing uh, in terms of everything else that right. happened during that time. Did you have a chance to read the book? Yes, I read the book uh, twice before we went in for shooting. And yeah, I think it's an amazing book mm -hmm. that everyone needs to read. Robert, how was the experience for you? I was just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. It was fun for you. Yeah, I'm All right. just, uh, that's what I do. So. We're going to get, we're going to dig deeper into this. This adjusted my juju questions because I want our audience to, first of all, watch the trailer. If uh, you haven't had a chance to watch the movie or the trailer, take a look at what these guys have been able to do. How does it feel, William? <laughs> I never went to secondary school. Make us proud. Hey, <laughs> looking sharp, eh? You too, man. <laughs> Kachukolo is not the wealthiest school in the district, but it's down to each one of you to decide your own level of commitment. Commitment! The rains came late this year, and now the trees are gone. Malawi is preparing for a very long hungry season. What are you going to do? Anything new? It's a pump. Can you fix it? Maybe. Mr. Kachibunda, when you turn the wheel on your bike, the light shines. How? It's magnets. I can bring water. I know how to do it. We stay, we die. No. With the electricity, we can plant in the dry season. And to a Oh, wow. The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. It's based on a true book back in 2001 in Malawi. So, of course, joining us here on set, here is the person who plays the bad role, well, the bad guy, part of the bad guy. Um, I have here with me Martin. Yes. Martin, he is one of the law actors there. He's actually the lawyer who comes in to represent a tobacco farm, which is trying to get the village to sell its trees. Yes. All right, let's talk a little bit about this film. But before we do that, I want to hear a little bit about everyone. Mm. So, Martin, let me begin with you. Tell me about you as an actor. What's your life story? How did you find yourself here? Uh, well, uh, my name is Martin Givenji. I am an actor, scriptwriter, director. Mm -hmm. Uh, how, how far back do you want me to go? <laughs> Let's go back to as far as when your career started. Well, Let's trace those footsteps. 
Well, um, unofficially, my career started when I was four years old. Wow. When I started acting. Really? Yes, but professionally, I started acting in 2004. I was uh, fortunate to start acting with him at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's been a journey of uh, immense ups and downs to date, uh, gathering skills beyond just being an actor, gathering skills as, an, as a director, as a scriptwriter. And uh, thus far, it has been a great experience. I've mm -hmm. been fortunate to be in a show on uh, Citizen TV, that is Machichari, who was a scriptwriter and an actor and trained as a director. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. <laughs> Have you Basically. trained in this academically speaking as yes, well? Yes, I pursued a degree in uh, theatre arts and film technology right. at uh, Kenyatta University. Why this? Yes. Why, why, why the arts? Why acting? I always say my story has always uh, charted a path for itself. When I was growing up, I always wanted to be a doctor. That switched, became a lawyer. That changed, became a pilot that changed became an actuarial scientist or an actuary. Wow. Then I realized um, when I became an actor that I can actually be all these things <laughs> as an actor. Mm -hmm. So I was not Because you actually played wrong. a lawyer. Yes. And you wanted to my be a lawyer. Ex see, <laughs> my job is done. So you to wear all those <laughs> I can hats die happy. <laughs> yeah. So I can wear all these hats as an actor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it helps that I have a... Um, I have a bit of education mm -hmm. to help me also pursue that in the different levels. Mm -hmm. That if I'm thrown in the space of a lawyer, sita kanganya mdomo sana. Mm -hmm. If I'm thrown in the space of a doctor, mm -hmm. I'll have to do a bit of research to know how to be all these things. Mm -hmm. Even so, a lady. Yeah? Even a lady. So yeah. yeah, even a lady. Yeah, I can, can be, be a lady. Be well, be uh, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> yeah. okay. But it, it has been a joyful journey thus far. Tricky, but... All right, Max, I'll come back to you in... No, not Max, sorry. Martin. Martin, I'll yeah. come back to you in just a minute. Mm. Robert, let me talk to you. What's yes. your life story? Just like um, Martin here, did you know at the age of four that this is what you wanted to do? Well, yeah, when KBC was... When there was only one station in Kenya, I did... I did uh, children's variety so I did a show Apple and then I went on to drama in Ajua high school and then Nika just lost some interest then Nika Maliza Shule I was to go to the army my friends told me to the army yeah I wanted to I wanted to go and box kwa army okay then my friends were be funny if you end auditions I really niko wanted to na niona to anajua so I end auditions za kwanza 04 and then I went through and that was it kutoka hapo I've been uh, all uh, up and down in my comedy. I uh, tried comedy up Crazy Kenyans, Ikagonga Rocks, of course. Um, um, did a lot of things all through Zero Form Bakasai, but a lot of theater, mm -hmm. a lot of plays, a lot of TV, a lot of film. Yeah. Okay. It's been a and, and, and for you, did you ever feel. You, you, well, your friends sort of encouraged you mm -hmm. to go and audition. Yeah. Others you'd be in the army today. Well, I had, you see, I had it in me. I, ah. had, I like, nilianza ni mdogo, but I, al I was always being discouraged. You know, ile, uh, wazazi, maybe your time, walikuwa oni ikiwa, if you'd ever, like, make a, make a living out of doing the arts or... But so, you are. Yeah, now, this, I've been doing this since zero four. Yes. Bagas, I, and I even domina ish. Right. Yeah. Before I come to Max, let's head over back to Martin. Yes. Martin, you were talking to me, telling me about the fact that you even have to prepare for your roles by knowing if you're playing a doctor, you have to do your research. If you're playing a lawyer, you have to do your research and yes. so forth. Yeah. Acting is not just waking up and saying, I want to be an actor. Um, uh, that's the unfortunate uh, belief that most people have, that uh, you'll wake up one day, you'll just stand in front of a camera and you'll be able to say what you're told to say. Mm. But there's a lot that goes behind it. If, uh, if, say, I would want to be a journalist today, there are things probably if I was to imitate you or rather to play my journalist character as you, there are things about you that I'd have to look into, right. research more about you, know why you do things this way, why that way. Because mm -hmm. there are things when we wake up every day and do things as ourselves, there are things we don't think about because they are ingrained in us. Mm. This is how we were brought up. That is why we talk the way we talk. That's why we do things the way we do. That's how we have our moral compasses in certain directions mm. as opposed to others. But when you have to embody somebody else, 
now you need to give them that same same background because they are not you mm. they are somebody else mm. so you have to give them a character create that backstory where was this person born now they were a doctor which doctorate school did they go to which primary school do they say issue or issue you know <laughs> there's a lot living you live you, you their live, life you, and that's the amazing the thing moment. about acting you get to come out of yourself mm. and be somebody else for that moment mm. there are those who go too far it's called method acting. You mm -hmm. become that actor like Daniel Day-Lewis. That's became, a big danger, psychologically. It is, it is because somebody mm -hmm. like Daniel Day-Lewis does a, a movie once in three or four years, and once he does that movie, he, go, he gets into a role for two years, needs another two years to get out of the role. Whoa. Yes, because at night when he goes home, the wife sees, for example, when he did uh, Abraham Lincoln, he was Lincoln for the period of before shooting, during the shooting, and then after that he needed to go to a resort in France, which is some of the dreams that we have. We can afford to do to those be things wrong. to get your, out your of character. Your dreams are valid, my dreams <laughs> are valid. Let me rock in, Max. Max, if I'm not wrong, you just finished high school. Yes, I did. And you are the star in this film? Mm -hmm. Have you acted before? Um, I've not acted in any film before. This was my first film. Mm -hmm. But I've been doing a bit of acting uh, right from childhood. Not four, but seven. I was, uh, I was doing a couple of plays in uh, church. And then after that, uh, I joined uh, school and I started doing plays in school and high school. That's when I got to interact with the directors uh, of the film, did the audition and landed the role. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you've, you've had experience since you were, sort of of in, you were seven years old. Yeah. One would ask, especially someone as young as you, how does one balance their academics, their school, with their passion? Well, um, it's, uh, it's not an easy task to, to do that, but uh, you realize that when you're interested in uh, achieving the best in both, you just have to find a way of attaining the right balance. Mm. Like for me, I love theater and uh, I also must uh, make sure I ace my grades and uh, get the highest in my class. So I have to find the right timings to do theater Theater, theater work and the right timings to do my academics. It's cool. You need it's, to ask it's, which school. Yeah. It's, it's, a bit, it's a bit tough, but yeah, when, when you know where you want to get to, then you just have to find a way of doing how, it. How did your parents take it? Well, it, was, it came as a surprise to everyone, but uh, they were really, they were actually overjoyed at the news. At first, my mom didn't even know what to say mm. because uh, it just came out of the blues. No one knew it was coming. I mean, I went for the auditions, waited for some time, and we're told, yeah, you landed the role. You're supposed to shoot in Malawi. And it took everyone by surprise, but it was such an amazing surprise. All right. Mm -hmm. um, just also highlight for me how it is that you got this role. Someone could be like, mm, how did you get this? This is like one of the top films and here you are working with some of the best in Hollywood. You've just finished high school. Mm -hmm. How did you get it? It was, it was a long journey. Um, it started uh, way back in 2017 when uh, our drama teacher came in and told us that uh, the auditions for a film that will be shot in Malawi. So we gathered a few people and decided to audition for the role. So we auditioned the first time the, the, the clips were sent to New York and then the casting director uh, from New York, Alexa Fogel came in and uh, she did another audition. This time it was uh, less people. And then Chiwetel Lejof, who's uh, the director and script, script writer as well, came in also to check out what was happening. Mm -hmm. So after that, uh, we had a series of more auditions and just getting to read the script and understand it. Mm -hmm. We had a bit of Skype calls at some point uh, just to get into the character and for him to explain everything to me because it was my first time doing a movie. Uh, right. I was not conversant with a lot of things, but he broke it down so that when we went in for shooting, it was, uh, it was a smooth uh, journey for me. How long did it take um, to shoot this film? Uh, the film took uh, close to two months to mm -hmm. shoot. Um, yeah, close to two months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did you prepare for your role? Because this, you had to speak the local language in Malawi. Yes. Take me through that, how you prepare for your role. Well, first you have to identify with your character, as uh, Martin said. So you, I read the book twice just to understand who William is exactly. William Kamkwamba, I had not uh, heard of him before. So I read his book um, that he co-authored with Brian Miller, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. 
and I got to understand where he comes from and uh, what different things mean to him. Yeah. And even as we were shooting, he came over to Malawi and I would observe him sometimes during um, the times that you're taking off and just to get to understand who he is. But uh, my job was not to create a character. My job was just to be responsive Reflecting. to the text that I had been given. That is the script. So I had to, res to be responsive to the text while still trying to uh, bring out the William that he was uh, a couple of years back then. Right. Yeah. Robert, how did you prepare for your role? Well, the same way. Um, I read my scripts over and over. Mm -hmm. But uh, on set, you know, I had scenes where I was talking in English and some in Chichewa. So for my Chichewa scenes, I had to, there was a dialect coach on set is uh, some professor. So I had to sit with him during uh, dinner times uh, at the hotel. Well, well, before, if I'm shooting the next morning, I, sa I sat with him at dinner times uh, at night and went through some of the dialogue for my next scene to mm -hmm. understand the words, to just to know exactly what I'm going to say or whatever the words mean. Was so that, that the most difficult thing to do? No, no, no. Uh, well, because of I can say um, maybe customized to it or because of doing it over and over, maybe. Mm. But yeah, you just, concept yangu ni raisi sana, maybe you can get in as a kuwa. I turn all these lines into, nazigeka kwa kiswahili. Alafu, zina make sense exactly kwa kiswahili. Alafu, nazigeka kwa English. In English, alafu, now into the language. That's talent. So, is it? Yes, it's <laughs> talent. It's <laughs> talent. Martin, do you, how do you prepare? Do you stand there uh, in front of uh, your mirror mm. and you sort of practice how to say your lines? Well, uh, that's, that's one of the skills that... Uh, really? One of the techniques, rather, that people mm. can employ. It's, it's not for everyone. Now, when you know what you I can't handle me. <laughs> but... Um, Personally, it's, uh, the process has an underlying um, characteristic, which is internalization. So it depends on uh, what language uh, endears to you most. There are some who will uh, read them in English, mm -hmm. translate them to Kiluya. The robots. Yeah, yes, <laughs> you see them. yes, and then have them in Luya, technique. and then say them as say them in Luya, then say them in Swahili, and then go back to English. It's a process. But you know, listen, you know, you know, when you say them in whatever language you're comfortable yes. in, you get the feeling. It sinks. Yes. Ah, yeah. Okay. Someone na kisapere na come on ima as in it's an emotional scene. Na even when I part a fast hand, you get the exact feeling. So okay, someone na chichao is just saying the same thing in just different yeah. dialects. And lucky, lucky for me, our scenes did not have a lot or any chichewa, but for the two of them, oh, <laughs> I, have, I personally have to hand it to them because they were on set longer than me, uh, especially Maxwell. Okay. Being an, uh, an A student from Alliance High School, <laughs> which we have to say, <laughs> that, that <laughs> uh -uh. No, 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 no. And it puts food on your table. Yeah. Yes. I have uh, been um, in the performing arts industry since that 2004. And that is what I do. That's what I live off. Mm. So the question of other than acting, what else do you do? Well, I'm a script writer, which is still feeding into this mm. same, same industry. So I revolve around that. But of course, it's not a walk in the park. It's definitely yeah, not. But it has you know, its challenges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I mean, everything has. So. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow, I like this conversation. <laughs> we want to take a quick commercial break. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Game Changers. And the faces that you're seeing here today are the part, well, I personally think are going to be the next big stars in Hollywood. And if you've already seen the trailers that we aired earlier, I think you would say the same thing. Let's take a commercial break. We'll be right back with them.